Hello! Two chapters today, and that would be In the Hog's Head and Educational Degree number 24. And as you can see by the title of this video, these are the chapters which start to test Harry's resolve. What we actually got is we had an action from Umbridge, that is her position as High Inquisitor. And so with the chapter in the Hog's Head and moving forward, we're getting Harry and the other students' reaction to this decision. Uh, and that is to go out beyond the limits of the educational system they've been given to move around it in order to properly educate themselves. And in fact, this is actually pretty common. There are a lot of things that are not taught by our education systems that we have to teach ourselves. And whether that's through reading different types of literature, talking to different types of people, searching different things on the internet, watching different videos, movies, biographies, documentaries, any really thing like that. Things that are not fully encompassed by the education system. So we move out and go around it. So this is actually a pretty common movement for those of us who live in a non tyrannical society who have the option to go out around the system. There are countries that aren't able to do this. The Ministry of Magic is hinting that this is not something that can be done. But they're willing to try anyways. They're moving forward. They're taking precautions, of course, though maybe not as many as they should, but again, this is their first attempt at this. So mistakes are going to happen. If they didn't make mistakes, it would be unrealistic. And then, of course, with the educational degree number 24, we have then Umbridge's counter action against their reaction. And that is to circumvent any legal possibility they have to actually go around the system in the way that they are. And it's, it even goes beyond that because it's then also this idea of holding everything else that they could have over their heads. All those benefits that they had about working in the system are suddenly in doubt. Um, and of course it's reinforced by those who fit into the system and are working with the system that they are getting these benefits very much quicker than those who are looking to circumvent the system. But the question then holds of do you continue the path that you have chosen? Do you continue to fight the way the system is working and work around the system because the system is flawed? Or do you make the decision that the benefits outweigh the consequences of working within the system. These are two honest choices that you are able to make. And we do have people who are making each of these choices. It's also a question of who you're following. Because a lot of these kids who are continuing with Harry to circumvent the system are following Harry and Dumbledore. Their own parents disagree with this. We have Molly saying, Ron, you're not allowed to do this. Harry and Hermione, I have no control over you, but I strongly suggest you don't. Same with somebody like Draco Malfoy. It's not purely that he's following Umbridge. It's also the fact that he is aware that there is this other power in play, which is Voldemort, and his own father. His own father doesn't seem like somebody who would be like, that Draco got a little bit of that teenage rebellion. Ha ha ha, boys will be boys. Like, he seems much more the type of person that's going to act violently. We've seen him do that with everybody else. Why would he not do that 
with his own family. So it's not purely about your own choices. It is based around the choices of other people around you. But that's the question. When do you make the choice to go against those around you? Ron is going to make this choice to go against Molly here. Same with Fred and George. Fred and George might have been making that choice a little longer. Ron's also making the choice to go against Percy. Molly's not aware of that, but he is making these choices. He's making the choice to be who he is. And if who he is has to work around the system because the system is wrong, then he's going to do that. He has the courage to do it. In fact, if you look, a lot of the Hufflepuffs are just as willing to make this change. Some of the Ravenclaws, too. We do have some dissenters. Uh, we have our unnamed Ravenclaw Cho friend. And we have Zachariah Smith, who is very verbally questioning of things. But even the prefix are looking at it going, there is something wrong with the system and we have to make changes. And it is in the face of adversity that you are going to know who truly are your allies who are going to stand with you and continue to make the choices that you do. I've heard this from a couple of different sources in the Marvel Universe, but it is the idea that when the world is truly wrong, your job is to plant yourself, and when the world tells you to move, to say no, you move. And that is actually what is happening in this moment. These kids are making the decision towards that ability. They haven't gotten to the point yet where they are planting themselves and saying, no, you move. But they're not being backed off by the consequences they're facing. In fact, these consequences are just giving them more resolve. Oh, you're going to be biased towards the Slytherins because they are helping you and they're snitching on people. Yeah, no, I'm still going to fight this. You've attacked my owl. I'm going to fight this. You're watching every way we have communica to communicate out of the school. I'm going to fight this. It becomes this moment where the tyranny is too much, and these kids are learning to fight back. And it is in these moments, these moments of pure doubt, where they are being told by several people on one side and several people on the other side that they are wrong or they are right, and they have to make that choice for themselves. Sirius can't make this choice, and Molly can't make this choice, and in fact, none of these kids can make this choice for anybody else, as we're going to see. But the majority of them have made the decision to plant themselves and tell the world to move. And that is just amazing to watch. Well, Umbridge, your downfall is starting. And as much as you're trying to just hold your power base together, we're already seeing the cracks of what people can do when they want to fight tyranny. And that's pretty awesome. I'm going to keep reading, and I hope you do too. See you next time.